Hi, my name is Jean Perry. I'm a member of the Plain Air Painters of America. I'm from Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to talk more about composition than anything else and how to find it on location. And it's still a big abstract design, isn't it? I really haven't said this is trees or embankment or anything. But as I go along, I'll add as many strokes as I feel like is necessary to say this is an embankment in the far parts of my picture and these are trees and I certainly will try not to use any more strokes than I need. Another thing I'd like to say, hold the brush at the end of the brush handle because this makes your arm do the strokes rather than if you do this and get in there like that you're going to get undecisive little chicken scratches and we want some expression. You're out here where the emotion is, is coming into the eyes, going into the brain, going down the arm, onto the canvas. So don't stop it with this kind of stuff. Allow this emotion to come out with the strength of, of a brush stroke. You might ask yourself, why would you stand out here and plein air paint when you could take a photograph and go back in your studio and make a perfectly decent painting? The difference is the emotion and what you can see with your eyes. It makes all the difference in the world if you have some first-hand information rather than what a camera takes. A camera will just put very dark shadows. You can't tell whether it's just all black. Or, but when you're looking at it, you're going to see reds and purples and golds. and It makes all the difference in the world. So you could use a little study like this and make a large painting in your studio, but you need to come out and find what the information has to tell you. This, these rocks have a nice angle going out, and I don't want to lose that. I'm hopefully using the patterns of the water to help me keep the eye moving around the canvas that uh, this these lines hopefully your eye will travel with the different lines on the rocks and the water <laughs> 